So it's here. Go Pro 10. Hero Black. 23 megapixel camera. 5.3K 60 frames per second capabilities with 4K 120. And you can drown this camera. No, I'm just playing 33 feet depth. And uh, got the new GP2 processor with the 4.0 hyper smooth stabilization. All right, let's get this bad boy open. So right here is like a pull tab. Take that off. Oh yeah. Comes with a super nice case. Yeah. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh. All the goods. Alright, I love it already. Didn't even take it out yet. Of course comes with charger and usb to hook up to your computer transfer files oh nice it comes with a curved mount already there goes my uh gopro 7 i lost my 8 in the river for those of you who know jet skiing so that's the reason one of the main reasons i grabbed the 10 comes with one battery I don't think there's an extra one inside the camera. I believe it's just one, but they do sell the package with the second battery. Well, it actually comes with the clip mount, the GoPro official one, with the screw, the Titan screw. So there you have it. That's the accessories the basic package comes with. Let's get this camera out of here. Oh yeah, I really like how they packaged it. Oh wow, your camera must be updated before. Oh, and they put recyclable material in here in the packaging. So the camera, yes, definitely bigger than eight. So here's the camera, let's get this off. Definitely a bigger camera than the 7 and the 9. Oh, I love that front display screen. Much bigger. You got the new blue logo going on. Weight-wise, it's not that bad. It feels pretty light. Let's see. Okay, so no extra battery, but I did open up the camera. Nice little camera, I'm sure it's gonna shoot very nice. But yeah, let me get the battery in here and we'll go through some settings. I believe these batteries can be used for the nine, the nine and the, the 10. So we just powered up the camera. Of course, it's gonna have us go through a setup. English, legal stuff, and location. Let's go off for now. Update, be back. So here's the camera on, maybe it just turned off. Okay, no, it just went to sleep. So yeah, there's only 18% battery life, which is to be expected because, you know, it was mailed to me. But um, from the old GoPros, and what I remember is the change of settings, you can click on this. Well, we're in photo right now. Let's go to video because that's what I'll be using it for mostly. So in video, it's 4K 30 frames per second wide view. And I believe that's just the default setting. To change these settings, just click on that. And you see the 5.3K 
30 frames per second linear plus i wonder what linear plus is i've never seen the l plus on there Got the 4.0 boost stabilization right there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can also pick if you want it super boost or just high or off. That's cool. You can also zoom in. Can change the leveling so you can tilt the picture if you need to which is pretty cool too so let's go back all right and at the pull down menu lock the GoPro I believe that's lock on person front screen options okay got you actual screen wow that's pretty cool so that's just the frame ratio aspect, it seems. Orientation locked. Okay, so the camera won't flip around. And then what's this? Of your GoPro needs to be updated with upcoming software to use max lens mode. So max lens mode is a feature on the GoPro 10, but it does not work because it's going to be a future update. Stay tuned for some footage and we'll see how this turns out. And I'll tell you if the GoPro 10 is truly worth it or should you just stick with your 7, 8, 9 or jump the gun and go and get the 10. So this is actually my first time recording with the GoPro 10 Black and uh, just stay tuned for what happens. Enjoy.